Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you multiple ways on how to screenshot on Windows in the shortest amount of time. And I will start with the best option. So let's go ahead and begin. You can do this method on any Windows desktop, Windows 10 and 11 guaranteed, and possibly even on older OSs. The keyboard shortcut is Windows key plus shift plus S, shown by this picture on the screen. Now don't worry, it's not a nuclear launch. You don't have to hit all of them at the same exact time. You can just hit one at a time, Windows key, Shift, S, and you'll be good. So I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. This is what it looks like. I'm not sure how well it shows up on recording. I just took a screenshot of the mountain, and by doing this, you can right click and paste anywhere you can chat or insert media, and that screenshot will be there. So for instance, right click, paste, and that screenshot is now there. Now note that this will save a picture in the following file path where you can access all of these pictures whenever you want. Now I just went to my file path and this is where all my screenshots are located after using Windows Shift S. Um, and you can attach media any way you want or you can move them to another folder. But that is the quickest and best option on how to screenshot on Windows. The next option is you may have heard of this built-in Windows tool, but it also accomplishes the same goal of what we just did. It's called the snipping tool, and the manual way to access it is simply by typing snip in the Windows search bar. And you'll notice that it's it pops up with the snipping tool. You go ahead and click it, and it'll pop up with this cute little tool. You can go ahead and click new, and then you will be able to take a screenshot of anything on either monitor, if you have one, if you have two. And so I'm just gonna take a picture of that green box. And by using the snipping tool, it pops up with the image you snipped in another window. And from here, you can draw all over it. You can highlight, you can edit it in any way you want. And the key features here is you can copy this image here and paste it anywhere you'd like. And additionally, you can save it in whichever folder or document you'd like to as well. The last way I am going to show you how to screenshot is by using print screen on your keyboard. Now, here's a picture of how to use that and where that's located. But this takes a screenshot of your entire screen and doesn't allow cropping like the other tools. The biggest issue with using the print screen button on your keyboard is that if you have more than one monitor, it will take a screenshot of both screens and you do not have the ability to crop it. So I would only really recommend using the print screen method if you only have one monitor and you're just trying to send something quickly. And that's it everyone. Hopefully you found a way you like to take a screenshot. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel for some more short, sweet, and to the point videos. See you guys next time.